Then we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Spirit. As we gather here this morning in God's family, with confidence we call upon our Heavenly Father, knowing of His mercy and of His compassion. King, that we might have life and live it to its fullness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to be a visible sign of your love. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you will come again in all your glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy and forgive us of our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who filled the priest and martyr St. Maximilian Kolbe with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary and with zeal for souls and love of neighbor, graciously grant that through his intercession that striving for your glory by eagerly serving others, we may be conformed even unto death to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will deal with you according to what you have done, you who despised your oath, breaking a covenant. Yet I will remember the covenant I made with you when you were a girl, and I will set up an everlasting covenant with you. Then you shall remember your conduct and be ashamed. When I take your sisters, those older and younger than you, and give them to you as daughters, even though I am not bound by my covenant with you. For I will reestablish my covenant with you, that you may know that I am the Lord, that you may remember and be covered with confusion, and that you may be utterly silenced for shame when I pardon you for all you have done, says the, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. You have turned from your anger. You have turned from your anger. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You have turned from your anger. Give thanks to the Lord. Acclaim His name. Among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. You have turned from your anger. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You have turned from your anger. Alleluia, alleluia. Receive the word of, the Lord, of God, not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Some Pharisees approached Jesus and tested him, saying, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause whatsoever? Jesus said in reply, Have you not read that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female? And said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, man must not separate. Then he said to him, Then why, they said to him, 
Then why did Moses command that the man give the woman a bill of divorce and dismiss her? He said to them, because of the hardness of your hearts. Moses allowed you to divorce your wives. But from the beginning it was not so. So I say to you, whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery. His disciples said to him, if that is the case of a man with his wife, it is better not to marry. He answered, not all can accept this word, but only those to whom that it is granted. Some are incapable of marriage because they were born so, some because they were made so by others. Some because they were they have renounced marriage for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Whoever can accept this ought to accept it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. quite interesting to have today's readings taking place as our street is being resurfaced, but we will get through it as well, hopefully. It's interesting to note how the Pharisees try to test Jesus. And when he tests them, they're trying to trap him, get him caught in a situation, something they can point fingers at him later. But a lot of times when they try to test him, Jesus goes even deeper than they want them to go. And other times, he's a little bit more open-minded than they want him to go. But ultimately what they want is for Jesus simply to do the norm, simply to do what everybody else is doing. Why are you rocking the boat? Why are you trying to change things or say things differently than anybody else? But Jesus clearly sees something better. Jesus accepts everyone as they are, and as we see in today's gospel, he calls us to be something better than what we are currently today. Perhaps that's the challenge before us today. Is are we testing Jesus? Trying to say, why are you changing things? Why do you think make things different? Or are we willing to acknowledge Jesus who loves us, who we are today, that calls us to be a better person by tomorrow? Are we willing to grow and change into the likeness and image of Christ? Are we truly striving through our words, deeds, and actions to do our best to become that manifestation of Christ? Are we testing or are we living up to the capabilities of what we're called to be, what we're able, able to become? And I give you the example today of our saint, Saint Maximilian Colby. I'll give you the Google searches to get his history. Quite profound. Spend his time maybe testing Jesus, testing things, testing this side that he lived in in Poland. But Otlomit saw himself as a better person, being sent to Auschwitz and willing to die for somebody else, and his struggle to come to understand the evil of Hitler, the Nazi. So I'll give you that test today to maybe study his life and to learn from his example, and what example are we giving to each other as well. Now let us stand as we make known our needs and our desires for a loving and compassionate Father. Good and gracious God, we make known to you our needs and our desires those we speak aloud, those we speak in our hearts. And so we pray for our church, our Holy Father, our bishops, and all the women and men who serve in the name of Jesus Christ. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for lasting peace and justice throughout our world. To end to war and terrorism and racism. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for ourselves and for each other that we may truly do our best to strive to live to be a better example of Christ through our words, deeds, and actions that we may inspire others to do the same. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those who are sick, hospitalized, or homebound, and all the doctors, nurses, and family members entrusted with their care. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those who have died, particularly those who have died today and those who will die alone. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us continue to pray for a quick end to this pandemic, for a vaccine and a cure that all the doctors and researchers will be uh, enabled to do that for us. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's take a moment and silently pray for our own attention.
prepared for our other intentions, including the intentions for Yong Chi Yang and Gi Lan. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we make known to you our needs and our desires. Those we speak aloud and those we speak in the silence of our hearts. We ask that you grant them, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread that we are, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we are, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all of God's holy church. We present our oblation to you, Lord, humbly praying that we may learn from the example of St. Maximilian to offer our very lives to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you have made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and our Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and to manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we now acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks was broken. Give it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you both the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered as you want to battle with the Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the full of charity. Together with Francis, our host, Oscar, our bishop, and all the clergy and religion. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of a resurrection, and all who have died in the mercy. Welcome them in to the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, and God, with the best of us, and all the saints who will please you throughout the age, we may manage to be co heirs to your children. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together now, let's pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus dies. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all destruction. If we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, we pray for the power of the Lord and your own power Lord Jesus Christ, you said you're a father. Peace I lead you, I can say you. But not on our sins, but on the faith of your truth. Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you have been reigned for us and us. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you can take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. to be seated at this time. And you know, you've all have been here before, so you all know what to do, but we will come from the back row, sanitize your hands, receive communion, consume your, your consecrated votes here, and return back to your seat.
pray, O Lord, that renewed by the body of your Son, we may be inflamed with the same fire of charity that St. Maximilian received from this holy thing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Get my words in quick. Quiet, a little bit quieter, I should say. But we'll pray for him and make sure everything goes well out there today that we don't have to hear it tomorrow. <laughs> um, have a wonderful day. Stay cool, drink lots of fluid, make sure you get sheltered. If you need any assistance, let us know. And make sure you look after your neighbors and see if they need anything during these couple of days of the two hot temperatures. Uh, but take it easy, relax. I thank you all for coming today. If you'll exit through the gate behind you and make sure you keep the proper social distancing as well. Have a wonderful day, and the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. May we go in peace to love and to serve our Lord.